Yo, what's up? Treading water. Uh, we're here. We're doing it. Uh, <laughs> we're doing it. Um, Travis is not here, so I brought in wifey. Um, this is my fiance, Marissa. What up? What up? We've uh, we've we've brought her up constantly on the show. Uh, I'm real. You know, that's all I hang out with. <laughs> I don't have any other friends. Um, yeah, Travis is in uh, Florida. He's uh, doing some shows with uh, James Pontillo. Couldn't make it. Uh, Big Bees is also absent, so uh, we're we're kind of this the skeleton crew right now. Uh, but yeah, we're we're doing it. Um, <clears throat> I think we're we're live on uh, on YouTube. Uh, you can give us. Uh, <coughs> you can call in uh, if you'd like. Um, I got to get the number now. It's right above your head. It's right above my head? There you go. Right there. Yeah. Yep. 516-465-3990. How do I do it? I'm backwards. <laughs> you got it. Right there. Right there. Right there. There you go. <laughs> Call in. Call in. Talk about whatever you want, man. <laughs> uh, you know, obviously, we could answer uh, tons of uh, relationship drama. We'll answer uh, anything. Yeah. Yeah. We, uh, we're we very truthful. Um too honest very yeah too honest uh because we're like children um you were saying in uh in the car that children are are too honest right they're too honest i i asked my daughter today i had a different outfit on and i was like does this look okay she's like mm, no i had to change my whole i'm not even kidding I yeah had to change my whole outfit. yeah it gets in your head right yeah. yeah i did my hair once and then like i had like a weird um curling iron they're like really tight curls it's yeah a true story and uh gianna my daughter she goes mom you are not going out like that and i was like <laughs> what do you mean i had to actually jump dunk my hair in the shower and change it yeah oh my god that would drive me crazy no, they're very honest yeah they're too honest <clears throat> I yeah. am going to apologize, though, because I've been sick for, what, a month? Yeah, like a month. So I yeah. will be, like, hacking into the microphone. Yeah. It's been done. I don't know. I feel like I'm Coughing. coming down with something, too. Uh, we we went on an adventure oh, uh, recently. We, we like to go on adventures. We like, you know? we like it, but we don't like doing it. Oh, my God. <laughs> the, the actual process of, of doing these things. So... Let's start out with the first one, which was well. The, let's just uh, start out by saying we mainly do it for what, what the gram, the gram, the gram, her gram. I, I could care less. <laughs> She's lying. <Yeah>. She's lying. <laughs> so, um, the first adventure we went to, Marissa's uh, very obsessed with uh, sunflowers, mm -hmm. and uh, so we went. We ha how long was the drive? Uh, it was Manorville, so it wasn't that bad. It was like. 45, 45 minutes. minutes. That's not bad. That's not that's I've, not a bad but drive. But I've been here. I've been there. <laughs> and it was beautiful. Was 45 minutes is a long drive. And then when we get so there, right all the fucking sunflowers were dead. Mm -hmm. All of them. Mm -hmm. And then we went in. Uh, she was talking about a sunflower maze. It turned out to be a corn maze. <laughs> and like... It was broken, like the corn maze, like every stalk of corn was like ripped down by like animals or like uh, human animals. Like they just destroyed this fucking sunflower place. Like, and, you know, it might have been cooler if we brought the kids, you yeah, know, because there were a lot of kitty bouncy houses. Yeah, and... there was a lot of like kid activities. But, you know, we went to get pretty pictures and buy sunflowers. Yeah, and then everyone and then you're allowed to also pick your own flowers. And I think everyone picked the live ones and we were stuck with the dead ones. Yeah, they, they were they were uh, the saddest sunflowers I've ever seen. And then after every time we were like passing people with holding like live flowers, I'm like, you picked him. You, yeah. you killed the the. Whatever. Yeah, she wanted to steal the sunflowers out of every person's uh, hand. But wait, and then we got really hungry. Yeah, oh, God. That was the worst the part. The main part of the <clears throat> whole, like, So, day. yeah, after, like, what, like, two hours being there or, mm -hmm. like, an hour and a half or something, we decided uh, we wanted to I get some food. I was craving a hot dog. Yeah, she's craving a hot dog. So there's one food truck that sold hot dogs. And we waited online. What was it? Two, two and a half, two hours. Two, it was two yeah, and a half. Yeah, it was like around there. Two and a half hours to get fucking food from a food truck. 
there was two people working and it was just like you know because every order above us like was like mom dad fucking six kids their cousin their aunt with a limp you know it was it, it was just like all like i just kept seeing trays of you know burgers and fries and hot dogs coming out and marissa's panicking she's like oh i'm, I'm not gonna get the last hot dog yeah. and, because every time we were weeding they're like oh we're out of the fruit the yeah. fried oreos oh we're out of this we're out of that yeah and and like we had friends there like <laughs> from high school and like they all brought their kids and um you know, like we were talking to them and we're like, oh, yeah, we'll just uh, come by, you know, after we get our food. Me and all like, moved like an inch. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, I couldn't believe how long we fucking waited for food. It, the, it was the weirdest the thing. The only good thing about that line, though, was that next to the food truck was a beer truck. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we just kept on getting beer. Yeah, we kept getting some beers like right next just like for to wait online. <laughs> like we were getting tipsy like at online waiting for a fucking burger and then the food good. wasn't even that good it was a it was that my hot dog was was boiled it was a boiled hot dog it was more bun than dog and like a cold hamburger and the fries were awful yep. they were like the bottom of the barrel like like pure oil french fries they ran out of they did it was a true story about running out of fried oreos but we did get fried uh rainbow cookies. yeah we got fri fried rainbow cookies they weren't uh <clears throat> they weren't even that good no. and and the place like had their own fucking instagram and like i i was gonna blow it up because <laughs> because uh, i that's what i do when when things piss me off i turn into a yelp monster <laughs> the chilies yeah oh my god the chilies <laughs> chilies uh Nasty. we went we went to chilies one time and uh there was a fucking hair in my food Ugh. you know like it, it just like was right on top you know i had taken like one bite of the mashed potatoes and it was like right on top and i'm like oh and i like was gagging i was done after that but i was like all right we have the food and i don't want to waste it yeah but i was like mm. yeah mm -mm. and uh <clears throat> so I, you know, I tell the waiter, they come out with like, you know, uh, brand new kept fucking food. Yeah, they kept on apologizing and everything. So then I get the, the check and like, you know, it's like a hundred fucking dollars mm -hmm. and uh, th like they're expecting tips, you know? And like, I, I think I, I, don't, I don't know, did I even tip? Yeah, I think you definitely tip. I tip. But right after but, that oh. was like the thing where you could oh, like the pay survey. At, the, at the table and you're like. Mm. Yeah, yeah, I went crazy. Like Chili's has crazy. like the fucking iPad on the table or something like that. <laughs> and like I wrote like the, the worst fucking review. Like how do you get a hair in your food? And like the manager just comes over and is like, okay, I'll just give you a new plate. Like you don't get 10% off. Like you don't get like that item off like nothing like the check is just fucking normal yeah like why would and i we were ever go too so we we paid a good amount yeah we had drinks there you know so the check was like good you know like for like the waiter mm -hmm. and like you know giving them like a 20 30 percent tip what i i usually do <laughs> and it's just like no like what the fuck and like, then they messed up on my order again Oh yeah. I Uber I what it was it? I Ubered something from there. And I I get it. Yeah. And then the girl's name was Marissa A. I'm Marissa G. Yeah. And then I call and they're like, "Well, it seems like you got like a really good deal cuz the the Marissa G ordered like $100 worth of food." I'm like, "I am Marissa G. Like you fucked up my order." Yeah. You know? And then she's like, "Oh my god, I'm so sorry." would you like it would you like your food back i'm like yeah i'm gonna reorder or whatever and then i got there and they gave me like 15 dollars in gift cards which i'm never going to 15 dollars in gift cards I'm from never a, like a multi-million dollar fucking like agency like like yeah. chili's you know it's it's disgusting like they don't like no one makes up for their mistakes anymore no. you know they were definitely chilly they were very cold to us yeah they were very very cold <laughs> They're very cold. It, it made me sad. Um, well, they lost two yeah. good eaters. Because I, I was always a, a Chili's guy. That was like my favorite um, and like stupid little down. restaurant. Yeah, Friday's closed down by us. Because okay. I, I, I heard a lot of Fridays are closing. Mm -hmm. But like, you know, everybody has like their little preferences, like Fridays, Chili's, Applebee's. Like, Crapplebee's, I don't like that. Yeah, you know, Chili's was always my, my go-to. Fridays was mine. 
the fried eggs. Jack Daniels chicken strips. Come uh-huh. on. That's your favorite. Oh, it's my favorite. And yeah. then mashed potatoes. They're like garlicky. I got to figure out how to make these things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. She's a good cook. I am. She's a good cook. Sicilian. I got to admit. Yeah, the Sicilian fucking crazy hot-blooded blood. craziness. <laughs> I was just going to say that. Oh, my God. So, um, oh no. we've talked about <clears throat> Marissa's hot blood on the show in previous episodes. One of our first uh, episodes, I, I think we did a show. Yeah, I did a show, and, and Marissa almost, like, banged some girl's head off the bar. And uh, we talked about that. So, we had a, another interaction the other day um we went to go see cursive Mm -hmm. which is a cool band that's been around forever at uh amityville music hall which is like beautiful now yeah it's like dive bar awesome i've performed there you know and you couldn't even fit like 30 people you know and now it's like a great venue they actually have like a stage Mm -hmm. you know I mean, oh my God! The uh, it was twenty dollars for a glass of scotch. <laughs> yeah, that was fucking nuts. Which twenty dollars? Like that. Yeah. yeah, I think they like up the price for like big shows like that, mm-hmm. you know. But uh, so cursive uh, goes on, and uh, you know the the singer he like jumps into like the general admission. He comes down with his mic and yeah, the crowd. and he and what is he, what was he singing? Art is hard. Yeah, art is hard. Art is hard, one which is the, one of their, their best songs. Sing. And uh, I recognize this guy because we saw him at a Glassjaw show too. We like we like our punk rock shows, and uh, at the Glassjaw show, this guy almost got into a fight because he was an asshole in the pit. Like he looks homeless. Yeah, you know he does look now homeless. He smells smell. homeless. On like a freaking urinal. Yeah, he smells awful. <laughs> he's he's got to be about five five, mm. like long hair, glasses, long, gray hair. Yeah, and uh, he's like a, a small guy, but uh, you know he almost got a fight in Glassjaw. I think he pissed us off at Glassjaw, and that's how we remembered him. Mm-hmm. But so when the singer is jumping in stage, it's like the coolest part of the show. It's the last song. They're going. Everyone's going nuts. I have it on video. The whole thing. Yeah. This guy starts running in circles around the fucking singer and like, you know, everybody's like up on the singer and they're like singing into the mic and it's like an awesome moment. And this guy just runs by me and fucking I get smacked in the face by beer. Bolted. Yeah, you too. I'm like trying to record. I'm like, (laughs) yeah. And now I got a face full of beer and I don't like that because like, you know. Now it's like on my clothes, you know, you're driving home and like, even if you're like not drunk yeah, or, you know, good. like you have like one drink, if you it, like, if the cop smells it on you, mm. you're getting ripped out of the car and you're probably getting like a DWAI or so, like something like that. And, uh, <clears throat> so I hate that shit. I hate it. So, you know. He ran or he ran around the circle twice, and I think we got soaked with beer twice. Yeah, yeah, and, and it's good. <laughs> you fucking pushed him. Oh yeah, so I pushed him like real hard, you know, because it was starting to turn into like a little mosh pit, you know, which is crazy for cursive because they're not like a mosh band. No, and uh, but like it was like a really fucking awesome moment. And uh, this guy ruined it. <clears throat> now all I, all I can think about is like I, I got beer all over me, mm-hmm. and I'm sticky. And I'm pissed off. You're an asshole. Yeah. So we go outside. You know, we have like four or five other friends there. So we all go outside. We're smoking a cigarette. And this guy comes out. And I'm telling someone the story. So And he comes out in the middle of the story. So now my brain goes to right away, like, stop telling this person the story mm-hmm. and and approach this person. Like, why am I just going to talk shit about this person when he's right, right there? there? Like, I'm going to tell this person how I fucking... Oh, feel you, you did so i was like you're an asshole <laughs> and he's this guy's like he's why like mickey mouse too. he's like what did i do what yeah what did i do <laughs> what i do and then i was like you fucking spilled your beer all over me and he goes it's a punk show bitch and i'm just like dude like Mm-mm. you could have de-escalated this 
you know by apologizing yeah by just saying like hey i'm sorry i didn't see you there you know i didn't mean to like whatever like you know and i, I would have been like okay like that thanks for the apology but what like this said. guy just calls me a bitch and i'm just like so i like start getting like amped up like i haven't gotten like this mad in a while I it was and i was great. like i'm a bitch i'm a bitch so I take his headphones off. He's got headphones. And I was like, who? And I throw him into the middle of a fucking. Uh, what what road is that? Um, Broadway. Yeah. Broadway. It's a big road. It's a, it's a like. But as you're taking it off, you're yeah. like, oh, because he's like, did I ruin any of your properties? Like, yeah. You're like, no, but I'm about to do it to you. And he's yeah. Like, and he, uh, he's way smaller than us. And he's like, my, but those are mine. Those yeah. Are mine. And I, I, like, I just turned into like, like bully mode. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> So like this guy's like five four and I'm like you know approaching six one and I was just taking his headphones off and I put him <clears> above <throat> my head and he's like you know trying to like jump like <laughs> like the lollipop kids and the lollipop gills yeah the lollipop guild is that what it's called I think and, so yeah and so I throw his fucking headphones into the traffic mm -hmm. you know I turned into a complete jerk off. Uh, and uh, so like I'm like then I start going like who's the bitch now <laughs> you know. And, uh, like, I, I, I forgot what else I was saying. Like, I was, I was definitely like, you could have just apologized. Yeah. Like, you know, like, I'm, I'm like putting this guy to task, you know? He kept on calling you a bitch. And yeah. And he was poking. So you. now I didn't even realize this. He's doing the finger in the chest, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. So, uh, Marissa was like I on said, my side. I said, just walk away. Yeah. Just walk away to yeah. him. Yeah, we're trying to get this guy to just fucking leave at this point. Because, like, I, you know, I was, I could have broken this guy's face. Mm -hmm. Like, it, it would have been a massacre, <laughs> you know? Like, I'm not, like, the toughest guy in the world, you know? Like, I'm not, like, a fucking black belt like Travis. But, like, I know how to fight, and this guy's small, yeah. and, and you know? It would have been a one-punch by... Yeah, yeah. Like, this guy, like, I would have crumpled him. Like, folded him like a chair. <laughs> and... He, uh, he, he's is poking me and like, I can't even like recognize like the pokes cause he's like so fucking tiny no, my blood is boiling. and Marissa's blood starts fucking boiling. So she fucking out of nowhere throws him against the car. <laughs> <laughs> she fucking like, ta like was like, it was like a quarterback blitz. Him. Yeah. I warned him. <clears throat> she was warning him, you know, and she threw him against the car. And uh, and then he came back. Yeah, he came back. <laughs> she did she did it again. And now, like, I'm realizing, oh, like, you know, my fiance is stronger than this person. Like, <laughs> maybe we should walk away. You know, like, the, you know, we're we're obviously like, you know, fucking giants to this person. And but the uh, whole point of me pushing him was like, well, if you're gonna call my fiance a bitch, now yeah. I guess you're calling me a bitch. Yeah. And I'm gonna show you a fucking bitch. Yeah. Yeah, so the Sicilian fucking took over. Yeah. And she's, you know, so then uh, I, I guess the bouncer came out. No, he comes out. He goes in back into the place and he goes, uh, he, yeah, he gets can the, somebody help me? Can yeah. somebody help me? Can she somebody, assaulted me yeah. twice. Like, I'll, throw, I'll do it a third time. Yeah. Yeah, she assaulted me. Yeah. Like, what kind of fucking girly man oh. are you? That like, We're like Who's she assaulted now? me. <laughs> she assaulted me. Yeah. <laughs> And so the bouncer comes out, and like the bouncer's like, Can like, you just leave, yeah, please? yeah. He's like asking us to leave, and he's like, please don't. He tells me he's like, please don't fight this guy. And I'm like, why? And he's like, cause you will fucking win. Like beat the shit out of him. And I'm like, oh, oh, okay, right. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you're right, dude. And uh, so the bouncer's like, you know, he's like ranting to the bouncer. He threw my headphones, and go, the bouncer's like, well, did you? Did you get them? So like the it's like the guy never even got the headphones out of the street. I'm like praying they got ran over by a car. Yeah. And mm -hmm. um, the bouncer took him to like do that. So you know, finally like I apologize to all my friends. And yeah, I'm, just, I, like, I'm like, please don't look at me like a bum fighter. Yeah, because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like um, you know, my friends are in like like uh, at least two of them are in like recovery and like. They're trying to, oh, three of them were, and they're like, nice yeah. And then like the other two are like very quiet, like emo kids. And like, you know, I, I'm just being like this aggressive fucking testosterone <laughs> monster. And, uh, like I was just like, all right, sorry, you know, but, but my friend, uh, 
my friend Mike, you know, he uh, he said I wouldn't have you any other way because he's a fucking sicko too, deep down. So like they were actually ready to jump in. I didn't see that, um, but you know, it was unnecessary because the guy was like alone. But uh, yeah, finally, so we're walking away, and um, the bouncer's like holding this guy, and uh, he's, he's trying to cigarette. yeah, he's smoking a cigarette, and Marissa thinks uh, he was, he looked like he was about to flick it in my yeah. face, and I said. Are you going to flick that in my face? Do it. Yeah. And then I kicked him. Yeah. So she throws a karate kick at the, <laughs> at the guy while he's being held back by the bouncer. She kicked him like right in the ribs. It was he's hilarious. Like, That's it. A third assault. A yeah. Third assault. third assault. She kicked me. And I'm like, and you. she's just like, yeah, I'm going to do it again. So he pulls out his phone and he's like, I'm going to start recording you. So Marissa fucking hits the guy's phone right out of his hand and <laughs> it falls on like, the ground. <laughs> And, like, his phone, like, hit him in the face. And it was just, like, a disaster. Because, like, we're trying to leave now. And this guy's, like, chasing us, mm -hmm. you know? Like, we were trying to, like, fucking de-escalate. And, and this guy's, like, you know, all hot-blooded now. It's, like, what are you going to do? And so, like, you know, obviously he's, like, threatening, like, cops and stuff. So, uh, yeah, we're just, like, all right, let's get out of here. And we, we walked away. But you know it's cool. I've never I've never dated anyone that would like throw down with me. I you poke the bear, you get the what yeah. Do you, what do you call that about a bear? I know like you you mess with the bull, you get the horns. Yeah. But, like, what's a bear? Yeah, don't poke the bear. Don't poke. Don't poke. Don't a poke bear. a sleeping bear. I don't. think you know. Mm -hmm. I think that's the 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 uh, what is it called the. Metaphor. <laughs> uh <laughs> no. no no it's like a. <laughs> euphemism oh, that's sure. the word euphemism he and his big words yeah i got all those five dollar <laughs> words um yeah so it's it's pretty cool uh, we've also um oh, done like really fun stuff like to each other's like exes yes yeah they like to come out of the woodwork yeah when we're happy and yeah say a lot of messed up things yeah so <clears> like you know there was like this one ex of hers. Um, no. He texted her out of nowhere, and he's just like, "Look at us! Like, are, weren't we so young and cute and uh, whatever?" So I take his number and I start <laughs> texting him, and like I was, uh, like I knew this guy was just like not right in his head, because like when you start texting your ex, mm -hmm. like for nostalgia reasons, like you're not doing well. Yeah. And you're like, he's not, he wasn't a good person. Yeah. He's not a good person. And, uh, so I start texting him and I'm like, dude, he has no idea who I am. I'm like, dude, you need to kill yourself. Well, you started texting him because yeah. I said to him, don't text me. You were, uh, you were like, my, I may have, dating me yeah. may have been like a really big achievement in your life, but dating you was that one of my low time, lowest lows. Right. And he didn't like that. And then he called me. Oh yeah. Yeah. He names. called you like a cunt and, and that's you know, when yeah, you bitch. And then I, that's when I take over. So, uh, yeah, I started texting him and like, I'm really trying to get him to like commit suicide <laughs> and like. I've uh he come to my house. You know what? I I we've talked we talked about it briefly on the show. There was a guy that I fucking hated that recently committed suicide. And I think I had a a, a good part in his suicide. I think I did. And uh so I didn't want to talk about it on the show because um like when when someone kills himself like it's very sad, but the details came out and uh turned out he was a fucking disgusting pedophile and he sexually assaulted his own children and um i worked for this guy for 3 years and i he tortured me and i tortured him right back and i think i might have had the last laugh uh, for sure, I, I had the last laugh um, because his uh, wife. Yeah, I don't know if I want to get into that. Yeah, you, yeah, I don't, I don't know don't if I want to get into that. But I, I think I was a big part in this man killing himself, and and I'm I'm proud of that now because I found out he he <clears throat> like molested his own kids, yeah, and like uh, he killed him. himself to get out of going to prison. And it, and I'm pissed off that he didn't fucking 
get that prison sentence. And, uh, you know, it, it got around what he did. And I'm glad his fucking name was smeared because this guy fucking <laughs> tortured people. At the job that I worked, by the time I left, 36 people came and went from that job, mostly because they couldn't handle the abuse that, that this guy gave. You know, I held out uh, because I was waiting for a good job and, you know, I eventually left. And um, yeah. Um, I'm I'm just glad that guy's fucking dead. The world so, is a better place. Yeah, the world is a really better place. So yeah, I guess what happened, um uh, I know how he got caught. I can't say that either. Um but I know his son tried to run him over with his uh for white Ford F one fifty. Oh no, it was a white Dodge ramp. And uh yeah, so his son his son like hit him with his car when he found out. And uh I think both of them got arrested, and then I think when they were arraigned, whatever he uh, he opened his wrists, and uh, you know what a fucking coward. So anyway, her ex that uh, that was a little tangent. Uh, I, I I had to bring that up because last time I I when when Travis wanted to talk about that, I said no, you know I don't want to get into that because I don't know the fucking details yet, and then when that shit got confirmed. Like, I heard about that first. I think I was the first person to fucking hear about that. And I didn't want to bring it up until it was confirmed. And then when he fucking killed himself, I was like, that's 100% true. And then it got around real fast. And I, I played dumb with a bunch of people. And uh, they told me the story. So fuck that guy. He was like my <clears throat> mortal enemy for three years. Mm -hmm. I don't think... No, the stories you told me that he put you through. Yeah. Really disgusting. Disgusting, dude. Like, I wanted to find him. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh... But it has to feel like a weight lifted off your chest. It, it, it kind of was, but it was just, like, it's so weird. Like, I met up with some, some guys that work there, and uh, we were, like, telling old stories. Because, like, we had an awesome fucking crew. Like, I've never been on a job like that where everybody liked each other except for the 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 boss and like his number two mm. and like everybody there like is still friends and we still meet up you know and it, it's like great like usually you just have work friends right and then when you leave they stay there you like do you don't really hang out with them mm. anymore and i've had that plenty of times but like like there's like 20 people we still have a group chat, you know, because like I think we were bonded. I think this it's whole okay, thing could be a fucking movie. I have group chats with like my coworkers. Yeah, you know, like guys do that. Yeah, yeah, we ha we still have a group chat uh, from years ago, and basically like only one guy works there still, because um, he fired one of the guys in a group chat uh very recently which is shitty because he fired the guy and then like fucking killed himself <laughs> like a month later it's like fucking that, what do you call asshole. that uh coward yeah yeah it's a coward coward's way out you know <clears throat> um but if if you know if you're not a piece of shit and you're struggling with suicide you know call someone um <laughs> if you are a piece of shit you know just, just fucking do it yeah just do Clean it. Clean out the weeds. Just do it. Like her fucking ex. So I started texting this guy fucking awful, awful shit. I think you we know? It's like gold. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was so like, yeah, get him, get him. Yeah, this guy, like, Karma's I was. Karma's a real thing. I was really getting under his skin. I was like, she's feeding me all the info, <laughs> you know? Like, I'm fucking uh, bringing up, like, drama with his, like, mom and his sister and shit. Like, he's like, how do you know this? Who the fuck are you? And he's, like, playing guessing games, like, like, trying I'm to figure out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, dude, like, if you want this to stop, just come meet up with me. Yeah. And he's he like. He gave us his, his address. Yeah, he wanted like, me to come to his I'm house. To. Yeah, and he, he was, like, saying he was going to, like, sick his fucking dogs on me and yeah. shit. I'm like, dude, I'm not going to show up to your house. Like, I'll take your Like, dog. so you call the cops on me. Like, that's, that's like, the Dummy dumbest thing. Yeah. Holy shit. You know, like, think about it, dude. And, uh, oh, I like this camera angle. And you we know? didn't plan on matching. Yeah, I like, I like this. Yeah, For we, the record, we weren't planning this. Yeah, but... But we we kind of we kind of always yin yang, you know. Like I don't Cheers know. Me. See, like we got 
We got like the black and white water bottles, you know. I got white sunglasses. She's got black. You know, we we kind of do that. It's we, also we, just our colors. You know, we balance each other out. And it's pretty cool. Um, who else did I fucking? Oh, I uh, there was the other oh. stalker. Your stalker. Yes. Yeah. Paramount. That was fun. Oh, oh, that guy. That I was, I was talking about favorite. the other guy. Which one? I don't even um. Fucking uh, like your actual stalker that like showed up to your job. Oh yeah, that was another. One. That I was had like a lot one of, of my stalk- best friends yep. in high school. I had this guy that was obsessed with me, who yeah. was also married, engaged, or, or whatever his problem is. I, I I don't even know what his situation was, but he was he was definitely with somebody. But would and we dated like years ago, and he would always like come back out of the woodworks and text me and tell him I miss you, blah blah blah. And I wouldn't feed into it because I knew his situation. Yeah. And I'm not a scumbag. And uh, finally, he was like, I can't. All right. I can't do this anymore. I can't talk to you. And I said, OK, cool. Block my number. Block me. Like, whatever you got to yeah. do. Or he erased all of his social media, I guess, because of me. I don't know. Yeah. Um, at the time, I was coaching gymnastics for little kids. And um, I'm walking in just normal tuesday right and my boss was like outside and she's like oh marissa you got another enrollment i said okay cool i walk in and it's this guy in the office with his kid yeah like oh i enrolled into your class i walk in the office i go what are you doing here yeah like stunned yeah like this guy like used to like show up to your house drunk and shit and now now he's got like I, I don't know if it was a wife, but it's definitely like a baby mama that he was with. Yeah. Right? I mean, you know, he's he's got his kid in your in fucking gym. Class. Yeah. But the creepy part about it was that, yeah, he not only did he tell me how obsessed he is with me and yeah. how to block me and whatever, but then you enroll into my class where I have no choice but to be in. Right. And, you know, when you coach in gymnastics, you're wearing like the leggings and like whatever. Yeah. And I remember my hair was thrown up and he would always be like, oh my God, you look so hot. You look like you look like someone after like having like sex or something like that. Like, like yeah. you know, like roll out of bed and like you're disgusting. Hours after my class ends, I would get text messages of me, of me, my ass, like whatever, and been like, look, you have such a nice butt. I'm like, this is like harassment. And yeah. I went to my boss the next week and I was like, you need to kick this person out or I quit. Right. And then COVID happened. So it just <laughs> did it for me. So yeah. it shut down. Thank God. You know, but he but texted then- you. He texted you. I shut Recently, him down. Yeah, yeah like I, a year ago. I shut him down, uh, but I was a little polite with him because he was an <clears> old <throat> friend. And, you know, since he didn't have social media, I think he didn't uh, know we were dating. Mm-hmm. But I was just like, dude, like, what the fuck are you doing? But like, you know? now you're on baby number two with yeah. your baby mama. Yeah. And you're still hitting up girls. And, and it wasn't just me. It was multiple. And, like, didn't he, like, text you on, hit like, the day his child was born and was like, it should have been you? Something or something, like that. Something yeah. like that. I wish you were the mom. I wish you were the mom of my kid. The day his fucking baby was born. Yeah. yeah these people are crazy. They fucking love her. <sighs> She gets, like, the craziest fucking people. I feel like I have, like, the tattoo. Like, you're an asshole, come date me. With the yeah. With of you, of course. No, I'm an asshole. <laughs> like, <laughs> but I'm an asshole, I'm a, too, but only when provoked. I might be the biggest like, asshole. I always say I'm, like, the uh, the nicest, most rudest, honest person you'll ever meet. Yeah. Yeah. So I shut that guy down. <clears throat> um, and then, then there was the, uh, the guy that we went to another punk show. Uh, we went and saw, Bayside. yeah, we saw Bayside at the Paramount, <laughs> mm-hmm. awesome band, one of the best shows that I've ever went to. Mm-hmm. So this guy <laughs> who like tortured her right Our before I met her, drunk. like, like psychologically fucking damaged her, mm-hmm. you know, and uh, was telling her to like, like give her kids away, mm-hmm. you know, Take like, it. like hardcore shit. Like, get, like, give your kids away so and we that, can so get we an can apartment. To, yeah, so we could just run away. Give your kid, like, sign over your custody to your parents. Mm-hmm. Like, horrible fucking, like, who the fuck would say that? So, you know, she's told me all the horror stories. So this guy, like, he's, like, walking up the stairs. He, he works at the Paramount. And uh, he tries talking to We're her. We're in the Sky Bar. Yeah. So I don't know. We're, you- like, last row. And, and, like, this guy's, like, you know, trying to be all fucking friendly. Uh, all I hear is, hey, hey, Marissa. Psst, psst. I'm 
looking to my right, I'm looking to my left. I'm like, what the fuck? I know, up here, up here. I look up and it's just like this fat ogre just <laughs> looking down. Yeah. And uh, well, he, he was he was fat. He's disgusting. Yeah. This is the kicker part because he's like, hey, hey, it's me. I almost said his name. It's me. And uh, I look I look at him. I look back at Hugh and I'm like, no. And then he's like, you want anything? You want a drink, a food, anything on me? And I look at Hugh and I go, I can you get this ogre away from me? Yeah. And then he goes, I'm sorry, who are you? He's like looking up, who are you? Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm Marissa's friend. I'm like, we're not yeah. friends. Right. And then all of a sudden I see you. Because like we're obviously on a date. Yeah. You know, like it's it's a guy and a girl, you know, sitting there for a concert. And this guy's like fucking trying to like, Ugh. like, you know, I don't know. What's rekindle for him? Waste. Yeah. He's the he's like the waste. Yeah. <laughs> So we can call him that. So So then you get up. So yeah, I get up and I start pretending to be friends with this person. Because I'm like, she laughs at me when I say it, but like I, I am like, I can turn like into like a sociopath like real fast. <laughs> so like I just like flick off like like the hatred I have for this guy and I just like pretend like I'm, I'm good, you know? And I'm just like, hey man, what's up? You know, like, oh, I'm Hugh, you know? And uh, he's like, you guys want some drinks? So he gives us two free drinks. Then we go back. He gives us like two half price drinks, you know? The whole time he thinks like, oh yeah, like you know this guy's he cool, know you what know, I did. yeah. So then after the show, uh, you know, we're supposed to go downstairs. You're supposed to go left. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. We get out of our seats. I'm supposed to go left. I go right. I go up to this guy bar, and I'm like, she thinks like I'm going to like say goodbye to this guy. She's like furious inside. Mm-hmm. She, uh, she's like bugging out. So I go up and I fucking shake the guy's hand. <laughs> And I start crushing it. And I do this thing where I start moving people's knuckles yeah. around. <laughs> so I'm like crushing his hand and I'm like like rubbing his like pinky knuckle, you yeah. know, like he starts sweating, turning yeah. red. He's sweating. He's turning fucking bright red. And I'm like, hey man, uh, if you ever talk to her again, I'm gonna put your fucking fat ass in a coma. Do you fucking hear me? You know? And he's just like, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, man. Like, whatever, just stop. And I'm just like abusing this guy's fucking hand. And oh, uh, steps I'm just falling in love with you. Yeah. <laughs> oh <my God>. yeah. <laughs> and yeah, she she got uh, soaking wet. Yes. So- <laughs> <laughs> we still talk. That, that was like a year ago, over yeah. a year ago. Yeah. And I'm like, yo, yo, tell me about that story again. Yeah. Tell me, tell me. Yeah. So, you know, but like, that was like a good story and it was like a good start of our relationship because like when she got home, she told her kids and <laughs> I didn't realize how bad this guy messed with her kids. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, one, one of her kids uh, brings him up once in a while, you know, even now. And uh, like if I saw him again, I think I really would put tomorrow. him in a fucking. Yeah. Oh, tomorrow. yeah. We're going to the Paramount tomorrow for uh, saves there. the day. So we'll see what happens, but like I, I, I didn't know how much damage he really did the first time I saw him. So, and now I heard he's not even fat. Like well, he's like, I was just gonna like, say, like you helped him out. Yeah, but Coke isn't. A oh, he's diet, yeah, he's a, he's on know? the Coke diet, <laughs> not <laughs> not diet Coke. No, not Coke diet. diet. Coke. Um, yeah, yeah, but we uh we do all these adventures together it's cool and like you know crazy shit happens to us yeah. uh we went to a lighthouse oh my god i thought you were gonna kill me <laughs> yeah oh my god so after after the sunflower thing like i'm i'm like oh my god fucking marissa like you need to stop picking things to do yeah. so we get to the lighthouse in fire island we we like drive right up to the place and no like, we, <laughs> we met we this is my bad I'm, yeah. driving. I'm the world's worst driver or the slowest driver according to you yeah and I, I missed the, um, the, field. the parking yeah, lot. The parking yeah. Lot. And I'm driving and all of a sudden I'm like, babe, the lighthouse is outside my door. Yeah. <laughs> like, so, uh, yeah. So we, we park in there. We, we do a little, uh, you know, hike over and, uh, we, we finally get to the lighthouse. But I didn't even think of this part either. And we didn't think like, oh, you know, like we were just going to see a lighthouse, mm-hmm. you know, we didn't think that to go to the top, it was going to be 182 steps. Yeah. Like, this is what keeps happening to us. 
uh, we do these th- these cool things, you know. We we went and saw the lighthouse. It was, it was we get to the top. It's an it amazing, amazing view. Yeah, you know. Um, Apparently, we aren't real Long Islanders, though. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it only took us thirty eight years to do this. Yeah, and like you know, they were saying like, oh, humpback whales were breaching like earlier in the day, and like you know, we're up there, and it's oh my god, it was the so wind fucking was windy. Pushing us. It, it, like it, you couldn't even be up there, like. I think everybody was shocked that we were up there. And then like 15 minutes later, we were like, all right, we got our pictures. Like, yeah. let's go. And they're like, you don't have any questions for us? We're like, no, lighthouse guy. Like, <laughs> I don't have any questions for you. He's like, hey, this is the light bulb that's in it. And yeah. I'm like, fuck you. Like, get we, away we from me. We did have one question. We're like, can we get to the top top? Yeah. And like, we like shoved our bodies in there. Like, yeah. Right. We shimmied up by the light. And uh, yeah, you know, it's pretty cool. And I mean, like the light bulb was like this big. It was that crazy. like actually, like you know. And it goes for miles. It's like fucking 1,200 watts or something like that. But, uh, yeah, our legs were so sore. Mm. And go- and then, like, going down, we had to follow a family, like a guy and his two kids. <laughs> and, like, I don't know why you would bring, like, toddlers up to, like, the top of a lighthouse. But I was for it because of, like, the brakes. Yeah, um, <laughs> but I was, I was getting so annoyed. I was like, I just want to get down. Yeah. I just want to get down. And we're just, like, waiting for these toddlers to, like, climb down these, like, huge he steps. Called, like, the son of a girl. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, called, I didn't know he had two sons. I thought the one was a girl. I thought it was a girl. <laughs> I still think it's a girl. I was like, but no, she's, she's okay. She's okay. She's, she's a cutie, you know? Like, and the guy, like, looks at me weird. I'm like, oh, uh. Huh. And then he made like a comment like son and I'm like, Oh, that was definitely to correct me. My dad's watching right now. Hi dad. Oh hi. Like, Thank God you didn't tell me half these stories. I yeah. killed him. You could still kill him. Yeah. I mean, we're not promoting that. Yeah. And then um then the last adventure. Oh, so God. uh this is the most recent. We did this Saturday. Uh we we went to we were trying to go to Sam's Point. It was like a big Instagram spot, mm-hmm. right? Yep. So, um, we're looking at the website, everything's cool. We're like, all right, let's go Saturday. You know, we, we do, yeah, like a two and a, a two and a half hour drive, like traffic <laughs> all through the city, you know, and we get there, we pull up and I see a sign that says, show your parking reservations. He looks at me and I'm like, he's going to kill me. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, you have a parking reservation, right? And she's like, I have no idea what they're talking about. And so we pull up to these two fucking Ranger Ricks. And and they're yeah, we like, call them Ranger Dicks. yeah, <laughs> you know, and like this one girl, she's just got like, I it, oh my god, it was the worst acne I've ever seen. It looked like fucking bee stings. I, I didn't make eye contact. I was gonna gag. Yeah, and she had like band aids all over her face, and uh, they're like, "Do you have a parking pass?" We're like, "No," <laughs> and I was like, "We drove two and a half hours to get here. Like, can't we just park?" But and the they're like, no. Well, they were saying they're like, we only uh, accept reservations from from this day on till a week from now. Yeah. So like we Mind did you, it. The parking lot was empty. We did it on the ninth. So on the fifteenth, <clears throat> you no longer need parking reservations. Yeah. So we're like, can't you just like look the other way? Can we like pay extra for parking? And they're telling us no. So they give us like you know, a fucking brochure or whatever for like other parks to go to in the area. But we're like, you know, we just drove almost three hours. Like, can we stop and use your restroom? And like, they thought we were just going to park and go on the hike. Like, no, we're gonna so they're like, you need to pull up over here. And one person needs to stay in the car in case there's emergency. We're like, I'm fucking you're okay. Park ranger, <laughs> you know, like take it easy. And, uh, this, you know, so I stay in the car. She goes use the restroom. And she comes back. And she's like, there's so many open spots. Yep. So many open spots. And then they're like, oh, we gave the freebies away. I'm like, all right, so look the other way and yeah. give another freebie. Yeah. And like, they're telling us like, I'm oh, if someone <laughs> leaves, they can still come back and use their spot. Like, yeah. but there was so many open spots. Like they could have just been like. But their fuck up was it wasn't on their website. That's why we were. We were. Yeah. No, it wasn't. Them. It wasn't on the website at all. No. And like, so we end up going to. Minnewaska. Minnewaska. And, uh, you know, we just park, we hop right on this trail and, uh, we start hiking apparently towards a lake. I thought we were going towards a waterfall. Yeah. 
<laughs> but uh, obviously, uh, we, so the first person we see, I'm like, is this the right way to the waterfall? And they're like, no, you're going the wrong way, the complete opposite way. And I'm just like, all right, whatever. They're like, yeah, but it's a really nice lake, you know? So we do uh, a like, two and it? a half hour hike uphill, like the steepest like hill. Mm. Oh my God, my legs were burning. We are going to each other being like, you want to take a break? I'll take a break. You want to yeah. take a break? We're like, <gasps> oh my God. Like I thought I ran out of water in like the first like hour. Yeah. And, uh, but then we see all the older people. Yeah. Oh my God. And with their dogs. And people their are doing this with their dogs. Like, and right, they're we're like, looking at each other like, we can't, this can't be that bad. Yeah. We got, we're we got like, we're really out of shape yeah. or something, and you know? Smoker, so that doesn't help. Yeah. The smoking. But, but uh, this old lady that like told me about the waterfall, she must have been like seventy, mm-hmm. and she was just like, you chill, know, chill, like, oh yeah, it's, it's fine. But I'm like dripping sweat. She was also, we have to remember, we were dripping sweat going up when she yeah. was coming down, and we were coming down, we were flying. Yeah. So she's like, ah, it's a breeze. Yeah. We don't know what she looked like going up. She probably looked like hell. Yeah, but like, you know, we saw uh like a cl- like a class, yeah, like, like a they did like trip. a field trip, and there's just like a bunch of like fifteen year olds and like like normal nikes you know i'm wearing like work boots and like you know sweating and then we got cold yeah yeah so i you work up the sweat and then like you know it's windy and saturday was like 46 up there it was like 46 degrees so we finally get there and like it was like one of the most chillest spots i've ever been you know i loved it It this was also my first hike too yeah it was her first hike I did one. I did. I went to Breakneck Ridge, which was like awesome. <laughs> but um, yeah, so this was like my second hike, and I'm completely out of shape. I haven't worked out in a long time. <laughs> and uh, we get there, we like hang out, you know. But like we, because we had to drive another half hour to get to this spot, exactly. we got there at like one o'clock, mm-hmm. and like the park closes at like five, and like it's gonna get dark at five. So we only hung out there for like what a half hour, maybe. Something like that. <laughs> and then like we like come down the hill and it's like a breeze we're like we're like this oh my god this is like so awesome you know like finally the bridge we're like wait that took us like <laughs> yeah like there was like a bridge we're like that minutes. that took us like an hour and a half to get to going uphill oh my god the next day the waterfall though can we uh, talk about the water oh yeah we tried to go to the, the waterfall trickle. and like it was just dry they're we like and we saw these people a waterfall. Yeah, we were standing on top of a waterfall, like a dry waterfall. And these people are like, oh, yeah, it hasn't rained in months. You know, so it's it's really not more than a trickle. So we, like, went 25 minutes out of our way to go see this fucking thing. And I've never seen a waterfall before. So we're, what is it? What did you say it was? Like, we're over. Oh, yeah, yeah. We tried to see a waterfall when we went on our little getaway. Uh, you know. I guess what, like three months into our relationship? Yeah, three months into the relationship. And now we're like twenty two like months. A tiny house getaway, which was Yeah, it was it was so a, awesome. It was a cool getaway, but you know, when we were try, try to do this hike, um first of all I got a speeding ticket <laughs> fucking going to this place because it was like fifty miles per hour and then it comes to a little town and it's like thirty miles per hour and then it hits back to fifty mm-hmm. and this cop just saw me and apparently the fucking state troopers they have these things in their bumper that just see what everyone's fucking doing. So he saw me going fifty, pulled me over right away and I'm like, hey man, we're not from here and he just points to the GPS. He's like, Well that's your speed limit and that's and and that's how fast you were going and I'm just like, oh man, fuck. But I ended up getting out of it and uh, we went to go see the waterfall, and I swear to God, they were like these nomads. They were like these like children, like that, like look like they just like scrap metal for a living mm-hmm. and like live off the streets. And it's like a trailer park. And I'm like, I'm, I'm like asking them, I'm like, oh, is this like the where the the where's trail the begins? And we're like, yeah, where's the waterfall? And they're like, uh, yeah, no, this trail is washed out. But, like, I started getting vibes. Like, these kids are going to rob us. Yeah. Like, those kids were, like, mongrels. You didn't have your hatchet. No, I, ha- I think I had the hatchet. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what you got it for. Okay. Yeah. Yep. I, I usually go hiking with, like, a hatchet and a fucking <laughs> Rambo knife. Because, like, 
we're from New York City. Like all these upstate people are just like, oh my god, everyone's waving to us, saying hi, and I'm just like, and you, you're you know, saying hi back. I'm like, eh, yeah, I can't breathe. Eh. Uh, I'm like, oh hi, you know, because like I'm like, don't try to rob me. I have like a, a fucking 12 inch knife on me right now. You're like crocodile Dundee. But yeah, <laughs> yeah, last not a knife. That's a knob. Yeah. Oh, Earl. oh, oh, yes. So coming home from this place, I I turned into this character, which I do often. Which reminds me of that movie with who is it, Jim Carrey? Oh, you me, me, myself, and Irene. Yeah. Where he turns into like these like different characters. Yeah, like that's these, what you were. These characters uh, just come out of me. Oh yeah, we gotta do the sponsors soon. Uh, how much time we got left? Got about ten minutes. Ten minutes. All right. <clears throat> uh yeah so i turned into this character his name's big earl and like Magnet. it just started coming out of me and like i do this alone oh you got a travis headshot oh my god <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking for the package for uh, uh, okay <laughs> travis's headshots are always like oh i'm so sexy <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, so now i have to show it you yeah know, yeah yeah, like little leather jacket, and like should the I, hair. Should I tell Travis that I'm taking over? This yeah. My chair. Uh oh. This is my chair. Yeah. That'd be a Good old fight. Trav. That'd be a close fight between the two. Of yeah. Yeah, yeah. Pulling back um, his long hair. Are you showing the the graphics for the sponsor? No, oh, okay. No, this okay. Is, this is all my. Th this is what they see. I'm good. This is all my screen. Oh, okay. All right. So, yeah. so you guys are good. You just yeah. So th this is Big Earl. Um, Big yeah, so like we were just driving and like I, I got a little coffee in me. I started turning manic. Like I do this like by myself. Like I'll just turn like German like while I'm working and I'll be like, God, see for refrigerator. And like, you know, like I, I get these characters in me like or I'll start to, like talking gay and I'm just like, oh my God, that's pathetic. <laughs> and like, I, I, I just like it comes out of me and then like sometimes I can't stop it. And so like Big Earl, oh my God, he like, I think I did him for like what? Oh, an hour he, and a half? It was, uh, my, my cheeks hurt. Yeah. Like behind my ears were killing me because I was like, It was kind of a mix of uh, R. Lee Emery. Is, is that his name? Emerson? R. Lee Emerson? I, I, I don't know. He, he was the guy that was like, uh, the, like the drill sergeant in uh, what was it? The fucking movie. The, who? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I started putting on War by the Temptations. <laughs> Arlie uh, Emerson. I think that might be his name. Uh, whatever. Um, <laughs> he, he, he was the drill. He was the drill sergeant in that movie with fucking Joker and Private Pile, where he's oh, just like full metal jacket. Full metal jacket. Yeah, and he, in the. Uh, he, you know, he's he did the thing to the guy. He's like, oh, "Are you from Texas? There's only two things from Texas, son: steers and queers. And you don't look like a fucking cow." <laughs> you know. So then I start. Arlie, 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 Arlie. Yeah, I think I think he's dead now. But he he is uh, he was so good in everything he did. And you gotta talk about the Kern. Yeah, yeah. So Big Earl was from he was from a Kern farm. He he only sold Kern and and Kern accessories, you know. It was it was, it was Kern, it, cars should run on Kern oil. Kern oil. Kern oil. <laughs> and and then you gave me a yeah. name. I'm, I'm oh yeah, she was Peggy. I'm Peggy. Oh oh Peggy, I'm plum surprised. A face only a dog oh, can lick. A, a, a face <laughs> only a mother can love and a dog can lick. <laughs> I started doing like all the fucking crazy you've met. like that ain't worth two shakes of a lamb's tail and and then like this guy almost fucking hit us so then I started getting like angry I was like what kind of insurance you got boy but you the got the fucking duck insurance I ain't got no <laughs> duck insurance listen you quack like a duck you walk like a duck let me see your duck tail let me see your duck tail son you quack like a duck for me quack motherfucker and I, I just kept, like, fucking going. I like, started recording him. I have yeah. a whole 10 minutes of she, she has 10 minutes of me just doing this. Like, what in the goddamn fuck are you <laughs> doing, son? You know? My son Christian. Oh, I tell Pastor Dave. <laughs> Pastor, Pastor Dave, my son Christian, he keeps listening to all that black music, like Drake and Katy Perry. Katy Perry. Yeah, Katy Perry. <laughs> all that ungodly, devilish stuff. Oh, fucking Earl. Oh, my God. 
Uh, and I, I just did this for like he, he an didn't hour. Break character, and, yeah, and then I, I was wasn't like, breaking are you, character. Are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> she thought she was like, yeah, she was had a fucking psychotic break. <laughs> I just, I just, it was just like everything I was, I was fucking oh doing. Um, what, what was the other, uh, to say I was doing all like that, that, that ain't worth two shakes of land. That's like a gator tail in the back of a Monte Carlo. Ain't worth a damn. And I was just, <laughs> go, go to church. We're, we're wearing yeah. our Sunday's best. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? We're wearing our Sunday's best. Oh, yeah. We're going to go to the big lots wearing our <laughs> Sunday best. I got Peggy with me. She got a limp, but I don't mind. <laughs> you know? I got yeah. two horses from the ga- from the dowry. But I would, like, start stuttering. And, like, I would lose my fucking place. And that's when I started breaking character. No, he got mad when I started voice memoing him instead of, like, recording. Like, I want to face. Yeah. I, everyone can love. Yeah. She she's <laughs> I was day. like she's like I got to record this and I'm like I'm like oh you can record anything you want. I'm just talking like fucking like this southern midwest guy. I have no idea how he came about. And uh she does it on voice memo. And I'm like what are you doing to me? It was too dark. <laughs> oh, I'm a handsome motherfucker, motherfucker. <laughs> Oh, Peggy, why you got to do the voice note? I'm plum offended. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. It was, it was pure chaos. I'm here for it. I don't know how <laughs> she can tolerate all that shit. Because uh, you tolerate a lot of me. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. But, uh, yeah, let's close it out. Um, anything? Uh, you don't want to plug anything. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes you know, just... <laughs> No. <laughs> you want to plug your your IG? My IG? Oh. No, it's private. She probably won't accept you. We'll see. We'll see what weirdos I get this time. I, yeah. Every time I... Actually, you get so mad at me. Every time I think you take me to a show, you're like, you get more followers yeah. than I do. <laughs> they, like, she'll talk to, like, a comedian that doesn't fucking follow me, and then, like, they'll it, it, they'll fucking get on her Instagram, yeah. and I'm like, what, what the fuck? I was but, the host uh, of the show. She's just hanging in the green room. Although, I do feel like I work here, because every time, like, someone goes up, like, can you record me? I'm like, yeah, 10 bucks. Oh, yeah. 10 bucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she keeps recording sets for people. I'm like, you need to charge people. I know. But um, it's, uh, it's at Riss Cracker. Let's see who... Uh, at Riss Cracker. Uh, yeah, I'm at The Logic. Uh, we're at Treading Water Podcast <laughs> on all social media. Um, yeah, we have uh, we have a couple sponsors we want to mention. Uh, who we got? We got Buddha Belly Records. Uh, it's a nice uh, record store. Um, I... Uh, I don't even remember where it is. Um, out east. Yeah, it's, I, it's out east. Uh, but look it up. Look it up. Uh, Buddha Belly Records. You know, it's a re- really chill spot. Uh, they do some comedy shows. Um, Travis did it. I, I want to get out <laughs> there. It, lo- it looks like a real cool spot. Um, oh, here's, is that Travis? No. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> You're like that fucking picture. <laughs> yeah. Uh, then we got... Then we got uh, Kratos knives, Kratos knives. knives I, I I carry a Kratos knife on me most of the time. <laughs> We're trying to get a giveaway. I got to talk to the man again. Uh, he thought we were gonna give away the original knives, but we just kind of kept them. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, you know, uh, that's our knife sponsor. We don't get, we don't really get money from them. They they just send us knives, which is, uh, in my opinion, really fucking cool. Um, but yeah, Kratos knives, uh, they, they have everything, you know, hunting, uh, kitchen, uh, you know, these awesome spring loaded fucking stiletto knives. Um, check it out, check out their Instagram. Uh, and lastly, I think we have, uh, the, um, the crystal place. I want to check out that place. Yeah. Uh, it was, I think we had a crystal place too. Um. Yeah, we'll we'll get it. I forgot the. Oh, there's me. That's that's me. <laughs> me. You you guys aren't seeing it, but we got uh we get we Tony's pulling up some pictures. It's it's pretty cool. Oh, this one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sage Sage and Selenite. Sage and Selenite. <laughs> it was a good crystal place. They really chill spot. Me and Marissa, we love our crystals. Um, you know, uh, we got them all over our rooms. Um, you know, yeah, we wear, I I don't have them. She's got a bunch of crystals on, but.
but uh yeah it helps with uh being a wizard if you want to be a wizard uh My go to sage and sell at selenite yeah yeah, uh, the manifestation the what, bracelet. That broke three times. Is that, yeah. Don't talk about it. Yeah, she had a ma- manifestation bracelet that just kept fucking disappearing. Disappearing. Like she dropped it outside of her car and it was just gone. We had, just like, gone. Five people with flashlights. Like I was crying. Yeah. It's actually really sad. That I bought that for you, right? You bought that for yeah. me, and then I bought it again, and then I went back and they gave me a new one. And it was yeah. <laughs> yeah. So go to Sage and Selenite. It, it's a it's a really cool spot. Uh, yeah, those are our sponsors. Check out uh, Gov's Comedy uh, Podcast uh, and podcast-related accessories. <laughs> um, you know. Uh, car like this. Yeah, two <laughs> for two hours. And, and just anything I was talking about is, you know, I'm working in the kern fields. The kern. What uh, kind of corn? <laughs> cream kern. Cream, cream kern. kern. Kern on the cob. <laughs> candy kern. Uh, yeah, so govs uh, <laughs> dot com for all the shows. I think I got a show coming up with Keegan. Uh, maybe I should uh, mention real quick. Uh, uh, I I made did your dad said he called, but we didn't get a call. Um, I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm just looking at my phone right now. What was it? What was I doing? Now. Looking for a date you have with Keegan? A date. Uh, yeah, I think I got a December date. Uh, yeah, yeah, Gov's Little Room, December 7th. I think it's Keegan and friends. <coughs> My Keegan, you know. <laughs> you know. You uh, know. Yeah, that's that's the only show I got really plugging. Uh, December 7th, Gov's Little Room, govs.com for all your tickets and ticket accessories. The Giggle Room. The Giggle Room, you know. Um, oh yeah, he did talk. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Dave. Uh, we I don't think we got a phone call. I didn't see anything there. Yeah. Um. So. Uh. Yeah. Maybe next time. Um. But that's it. That's it for us. <coughs> Have the day you deserve. Have the day you deserve. All right. See you guys. Still, you stealing oh, my okay. lines. <laughs>